Hey everybody, welcome to the Audubon Society of Western Pennsylvania's Nature Channel. Here we are sharing some uh, cool observations and questions that people may have about things they're seeing here in Western Pennsylvania uh, as they go outside. It's beautiful spring weather we're having. Uh, and something that we come across quite often here at Beechwood is uh, these little swellings on plants. And uh, they're a curiosity and we stop and talk about them on field trips and so on. And you'll see a plant like this one with a, you know, nice stem, especially this time of year. These things are really easy to see before leaves and things come out and new plants start to grow up. Uh, this is a goldenrod stem. And this growth on here, it looks like it might be a bud or something, but it's not in the right place. You know, that would be, the bud would be somewhere on the end. It wouldn't be down here in the middle somewhere. Uh, and really that's not, uh, the goldenrod plant really at all that's causing that or this, the, the reason that's there. Uh, it's made out of plant, but what's happening is it's being caused by the presence of something else. It's being caused by a little fly, a goldenrod gall fly. The fly comes along back when the stem was green, lays its egg here on the stem, and then uh, the little larva penetrates inside and uh, it causes the plant to grow in this strange way and create a little home for the little gall insect to grow up in. It'll spend its little larval life in there, the caterpillar stage, if you will, and then it'll rest for a little while. It's called the pupa stage, and eventually it will come out. Um, and usually it spends the winter in there, and then next spring it can, you know, it'll, it'll come out so it can live in there. Um, now this particular one, well, there's a little bit of news here for this one. I, you can see on this one, there's a little bitty hole uh, right there. And uh, that probably is not an exit hole. At the end of the season, if everything works right, the little larva will, uh, will become an adult and find its way the rest of the way out. Uh, but if it's a big hole like this one, my guess is something else got in and had the little larva for lunch. Now these are, again, it's caused by an insect, and uh, these are pretty common on plants. Uh, there are many different kinds, hundreds of different kinds of swellings and things like that, all caused by different kinds of insects that will uh, live uh, inside of these plants and, and cause the plant to grow in this strange way around it. It doesn't really hurt the plant too much as long as there's not too many of them on there. The plant will continue to grow and flower and so on. It just, you know, takes a little, steals a little bit of resources, but not a lot. And the plant will be just fine in the long run. But in the meantime, the little insect has a home for the winter. Now, this isn't the only kind that's out there. If you look around, you'll find more and more of these things on different kinds of plants. I have some other ones here. Uh, this one here, this little round one here, grows on oak trees. We call this an oak bullet gall. It looks like a musket ball uh, from an old-time gun. And that's also an insect that's living inside of that, growing up inside of that one. Now this one has a very, very tiny hole in it, which you, yeah, you can see it there. A very, very tiny hole. That's probably good news. If it's a tiny hole, there's a good chance that was the little insect growing up and able to leave before something came in and got it. If it's a big hole, something came in and ate him. If it's a small hole, he probably made it through and escaped to continue the life cycle on. Uh, here's another one that grows on grows on goldenrod plants out in the meadow. This is an elliptical gall, different shape, a little different insect, uh, but the same story. Now this one, once again, has a hole in there. Mm, I'm hopeful that's an exit hole for the animal that got out. Uh, let's see. Oh, they can get quite large. Here's one that is the size uh, larger than a ping pong ball here. Um, probably from an oak tree. I'm not sure where this one came from, uh, but a tree of some kind, I'm pretty sure. Different size, different shape, different size, means it's a different insect that made it. Uh, here's another one that's growing on an oak tree. It looks a bit like a burnt marshmallow. Uh, and again, if I look around, I might be able to find an exit hole where the small insect got out or a entrance hole where something came in and ate it for lunch. I'm not really seeing any on this one. We've had this one a very long time in our collection. I haven't noticed any holes on this one. Um, and then this is another one, a really strangely shaped one. This one grows on blackberry plants. Now, blackberry plants, um, 
in this case, this isn't just one insect living inside of this thing. This is like a whole apartment complex of insects living inside of this thing. And there's little insects having homes inside all of these little bumps that you see here. There's a little insect that would have been living inside of that one uh, at some point. I can see some little holes. There's a tiny little hole on that one uh, where one came out. But again, he would probably have lots of brothers and sisters in there um, as well. Now, anytime you have a bump on a plant with an insect living inside, we call that a gall. G-A-L-L -L, rhymes with ball, starts with G. And again, there are hundreds of different kinds of these out there um, of different shapes and sizes. Something fun to look for. If you see something out there that looks like it doesn't belong, that's like it's growing on the plant, uh, but it feels like it's part of the plant. It's not a fungus or mushroom. It just feels like it's part of the stem. It's probably a gall, a little insect. Uh, making its home inside of that plant. There you go. That's Gauls, and that's your nature moment for today. Thank you for stopping by.